Marin here for Learn Fun with a new card and video, super bright and bold, showcasing unicorns and rainbows, including the ones from my rainbow, and some tiny fairies for a whole complete magical lucky card. So here is the new My Rainbow stand set. I also picked the rainbows and clouds from All the Clouds, a unicorn and fairies from Unicorn Picnic, and another unicorn and more fairies from A Little Sparkle. My greeting is from Rubber Dub Dub. I made the world lucky using the Henry's ABCs die set, and I cut my panel using the largest stitched rectangle stackable die. So I started off by stamping and die cutting all my images. It is something I do for most of my cards because it allows me to play with the images. Place one here and one there, see if everything matches and if I like how it looks. And sometimes my cards end up being totally different from the original plan. But for this one, I am going to keep everything just as it is now. So let's color the cute images. And we are starting with the rainbows. Usually I like to add purple to my rainbows. But these only have five sections, so I'm skipping purple and using pink, orange, yellow, green and aqua shades. I will use the same colors on the fairies and on the unicorns' manes and tails. And for the clouds, I will use soft aqua shades.
So all my images are done. For the unicorn's bodies, I went for a peachy pink. I think it's cute. And I colored some ones, but I won't use them. So now it's time to make the background. I cut a five and a half by four and a quarter inches Bristol panel. And I am putting it on my sticky mat to make the whole ink blending process more easy. I am first going to create a light rainbow base on my panel using Kitsch Flamingo, Dried Marigold, Squeezed Lemonade, Twisted Citron and Salvage Patina Oxidings. I am starting on the top left hand corner and I am going to work my way towards the opposite corner, coming back and forth several times with my blending tools to achieve a blending as nice as possible. Now let's play with the clover background stencils and more oxidings, which are a shade darker than the ones I just applied. We have picked raspberry, carved pumpkin, mustard seed, maudlin and peacock feathers. I placed the stencil with the largest patterns on top of my panel and I am going to apply the inks just like before, starting in the top left hand corner towards the opposite corner. So now I am going to line up the second stencil and use the same darker oxidings. And after that, I will add a coat of fairy dust paste to make my background sparkle because you cannot have unicorns and fairies on a card without a touch of glitter. Well, at least that's what I think. So it looks amazing already, the glitter will stand out a little bit more once the paste is dry. So I am just removing the paste on the edges and then I cut my letters to make the word lucky in glitter gold and in white. And I am just going to stick the gold letters on top of the white ones, shifting them a little bit to create a white border just like that. Now that my panel is dry, we can start attaching the images. Off screen, I embossed my to have you as my friend greeting in gold on the long cloud. 
I am sticking it using 1mm from squares and that's what I am going to use mostly to attach the other images with a little bit of liquid glue at some places. Now the last details, as always I am finishing my card with highlights on the images and because glitter is life, I am going to add some morning dew nouveau drops on the clouds. And we are done, this is the final result and I love how everything coordinates so nicely. I love how it turned out and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and see you on the next one. Bye!